this guy said he was calling me for the, to let me know that he was having trouble with his relationship and I wonder if I could help. He said, he asked me, he said, so what are you doing? And I said, and um, he told me, he said, man, I helped this lady out with a situation that I was in a relationship with. Helped her take care of her kids and, and everything. And when she got back on her feet, she decided to leave me alone. And you know, I normally feel bad for a man and this time was no different. I just realized this is a guy stuck in a situation. So first thing I told him to do was, and he was a little bit hyper and a little bit upset. I tried to get him to, but it was a little bit harder than I thought. I thought it'd be easy if I just said that he would just immediately calm down and but because he couldn't, <laughs> uh, we had a problem. So I said, man, listen, sit down for a minute. I had one of my handlers go get him a drink. Tried to explain to him, listen, man, you have got to, because no matter what happened between you and her, it seemed like she might be somewhere and you don't know who she with so you don't want to jump the gun and jump off a bridge and nothing like that and commit sui sui. So you want to be careful. Just relax. We don't know exactly what happened at this point. But it's imperative that we get you to. Now my buddy Swing Low just sent me a song a few minutes ago. And uh, he was talking about counting the victories. I count the victories. I count them up. Uh, I count the victory. Well about counting the victories. Counting the victories more then you count um, the defeats and losses. I had never heard that song before. So that song made me. And so I was excited about the fact that I could. And I wanted to try to get the guy in the same area code to see if he could. But he was struggling with this concept. So um, I told him, listen, try to think about God and try to focus on the spirit and look at things as a blessing more so for you. And I told him about what I'm doing, you know, just out enjoying the weather. And I was sitting out by the ocean and stuff like that. And I give you guys a chance to look and see, but it was really cool. And um, this is just a little bit of the view, like shot behind me over there in the nice waters and things. and. Me being the spiritual monk that I am, I was thinking like, man, wouldn't it be sweet from a spiritual standpoint, like what God did with with Moses' people when Pharaoh had them, let me show you how I smoke it, when Pharaoh had them uh, trapped or whatever, and he finally released them. He said, you know what? I'm letting, I'm letting your people go. I'm tired of this. I no longer want to be in this situation with you and your people no more. So they went to Canaan. They went to Canaan. And that's what God had promised that he would give all of them a sense of, uh, of happiness based off of his contribution and his contribution only. So Canaan was an empty island and that's where I'm headed. But I was sitting out there by that water up the way a little bit further. And I realized that even though I had the Dallas debacle and um, you know other things that get me down make me weary when it comes to my lack of trust in women because of their capabilities their high capabilities of getting you hurt and getting you incarcerated and getting you in a cemetery and things like that you got to be careful when you're dealing with women so I shared that with him total relationships don't work but I was talking about how to, if that water over there was the part let me show that again I was a bit, I don't know if you can see, just see it from a distance. That blue right there, I don't know why going for it. That darkest blue part is the water. And just imagine that parting, like the Red Sea, and opening up. Would you walk through? Well, I told the guy, I said, man, I try to walk through full speed. So I know what that means. I know what that means. 
It's a sense of spirituality and peace. I got a compliment from a, a dude today. He's from Youngstown about my lion tattoo. So that was pretty cool. We get a chance to have dialogue and see other people in this kind of an environment. So sometimes you don't get a chance to see people's true color when they are trapped in their work environment. But when you get away, people are a lot nicer on a vacation environment because they know what it means. So if we could just live life like it's a vacation and don't get stressed out and don't worry, we'll be okay. So that's what I told them.